We're taking you live to Las Vegas because we're getting a lot of reports from people there that they also felt this earthquake, the magnitude 6.4 that hit just after 1030 near Ridgecrest, which is not far from the Mojave Desert. It's a fairly remote area and people in Las Vegas, uh, one after the other, saying this is unusual for them. This is not something they're used to feeling there. So a lot of nerves rattled along with the the sign there and some of the goods inside of people's rooms. Well, you go from the epicenter near Ridgecrest and this hit about 1030 magnitude 6.4. Now they're saying about five miles deep and the shaking felt those long waves they talked about, which are the less destructive, but they go farther felt all the way out in Coronado. We have our own reports felt here in our newsroom. Mm -hmm. Kalina thinks she felt them earlier and now, you know, Las Vegas will probably get reports out of the entire region out of Arizona as well as we continue to learn more about who felt this thing. And we are getting some reports trickling that there is some uh, trickling in that there was some structural damage, possible injuries in the immediate area where this happened, which is Kern County. So we're going to stay on top of that. Meanwhile, Jared Ahrens has been monitoring the live center here where you're getting a lot of new information. Yeah, guys, we talk about not just the type of waves, but also the type of ground that those waves move through can determine how far they go. And, and I wanted to kind of show you on this map where everything is in relation to this. This is where the epicenter of that earthquake was, this red dot. Bakersfield over here is about 100 miles away. You got Los Angeles down here, probably about 150 to 200 miles away. And then Vegas, even further than that. Of course, San Diego is another 100 miles south of L.A. So this was felt in a very wide area, and it's not just this one 6.4 earthquake. This is Caltech's earthquake monitoring page, and if you scroll down in this area of the uh, Ridgecrest area, there were nearly 40 different earthquakes all in the last hour and a half this morning. Each of these entries going back to 10.02 this morning, a different earthquake, at least a magnitude 0 0.9, including a handful of them, about a half a dozen now, that have all been 4.1 or higher. So what does this all look like? Well, we're seeing on social media now some people posting some videos of what it looked like. This is a video from Moore Park, and you can see a chandelier shaking. Of course, we always see during earthquakes the video of water in pools that just starts moving all around. We're getting lots of images like this in right now. We have heard reports the general manager of the Hampton Inn in Ridgecrest Crest told CNN a little while ago that they have damage to their hotel. We're working to confirm that and maybe get some pictures of that for you also. Uh, but you can see all of the different things that play into this and everything that we're trying to keep an eye on. We're getting more pictures of damage almost every minute. I'll bring those to you throughout the rest of the show guys back to you. Thank you so much, Jared. Want to take you back to that news conference at Caltech in Pasadena. Dr. Lucy Jones, an expert, a seismologist talking about what happened. There was a magnitude 7.2 in Baja, California that was a, a felt across much of the region, but it was actually located well south of the border. Um, can you explain? Oh, can you just explain? Um, I'm hearing from my friends in the Inland Empire, and they seem to have felt a lot more than we did here. Can you kind of compare how the shaking would have felt uh, across our? I'm wondering if we can find. Do you have a shake map? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Um, uh, I can't even get oh. this. I Let well, let's see. Five. Okay, because if if we could, uh, here's a uh, here's did you feel it right here? Um, if we can, all right, we don't seem to have our. Let me, let me okay, I I will. Uh, well, while you're doing, while you resolve that yeah. technical issue, could you describe what the field teams do when they go to look for the? Uh, okay, so a, an earthquake actually is the movement of one side across the other. Now, like with Northridge, that movement happened in the earth, and the fault stopped before it got to the surface. This size earthquake, we have mapped faults there. It's probably through to the surface. So what they are looking for is a place where one side's moved with respect to the other. So you need something crossing that fault. I mean, you can see the disruption off usually, but sometimes that disruption is just shaking induced. So to be sure that you're seeing fault offset, you need to be sure you see something that got moved. So the first thing they'll go look for are the roads. If there's a road crossing this fault, you'll come along and then there's the rest of the road. As a guess, at magnitude 6.4, the offset levels are probably one to five feet. Probably a, little, a few feet. So that means you come along the, the curb of a road, it then just moves over and there's the rest of it a few feet 
over. Um, if we can could ever get this in control, like we can bring up some pictures of such things from previous earthquakes. And can you explain to me again what happened with the app? So the app didn't work. We don't it? know. Okay. Okay. It is. We have just hit an hour after the earthquake. We know that the system worked, but the app has parameters that says don't give a message if it's below. We've been listening to Dr. Lucy Jones, seismologist, some considered one of the foremost experts in earthquakes, talking there from Caltech. They, of course, are monitoring this, and one of the big things is they need to send geologists to the site to get a really good read about sort of what exactly happened, what kind of damage is out there. You've been talking about the fact that we do have reports of damage now, and we're going to check with Jared right after this break, where we're starting to see, oh, okay, right now we're going to get yeah, over let's to, get Jared. to Jared. Yeah, let's get to Jared Aaron's in the last It's not just damage, but now people are starting to report to the USGS that they felt it, and you can see on this map all of these little blue dots are individual reports of people saying they felt it. So, of course, centralized around here in Ridgecrest, but then you see all in Los Angeles. But look at this, Vegas, Phoenix, even here in Salt Lake City, Utah, people saying they feel it. And now we just found this video on Twitter of somebody who says that this is what it looks like in her father's liquor store right now. And you can see the damage done to that store from the earthquake. This is a liquor store, according to the report, in Ridgecrest. All those bottles that fell off the wall, all of the damage, basically all that merchandise destroyed and it looks like the building is probably sound but just a lot of things tossed around uh, and you can imagine for the buildings and the uh, structures in Ridgecrest taking the magnitude of a 6.4 earthquake caused a lot of shaking and this is what happens with it. So we're getting more reports like this now as people are kind of digging out, if you will, and, and getting their bearings around them. They're able to, to share with the rest of us what they felt, what they're seeing, and now we're seeing the results of that as well. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Jared, as you pointed out, and we've heard Dr. Jones saying that the brunt of the damage will be where the epicenter is, and that is near Ridgecrest, Kern County. Want to just update you that Kern County Fire is reporting that they are responding to nearly two dozen incidents, ranging from medical assistance to structure fires related to the earth earthquake. They have a bunch of teams that are out now surveying any critical damage. Of course, they have to make sure that highways are, are okay, especially as they pass through canyons, areas that could have gotten a lot of shaking, a lot of groundbreaking. So we're going to stay on top of that and let you know how this progresses. Stay with us.